Well, blessings, everybody, and welcome back to our study of Matthew, the very first part. This is the last video of the last lesson in part one of Matthew, but we have locally just completed part two of Matthew, so I'll be doing those videos over the next few days and weeks, and so y'all continue to study with us, okay? And today we're looking at Matthew chapter 13. Be certain that you look at the scripture pas passages that are listed right here. The bottom line, what Jesus is saying right here, he's saying the kingdom of heaven is like something. And then he gives several parables, and they're little short parables. Uh, and each one of these things teach a major element of what the kingdom of heaven is like. The first one was a mustard seed that is smaller than other seeds, but when grown, it's larger than a garden plant, and it grows to the size of a tree. And the birds of the air nest in its branches. And that's sort of interesting, that bird in the air kind of thing, because uh, there's something in Daniel that also speaks that kind of thing with Nebuchadnezzar. It'd be worth it to go back and check that out sometime. But the idea being that from a small beginning, it grows to something very large. And then he says the kingdom of heaven is like leaven. Okay, the kingdom of heaven is like leaven, where a woman puts a little leaven in three pecks of meal, and it's all heaven. And then we under, and get a quote from a psalm right here that Jesus spoke to them in parables so as to fulfill prophecy. Then we see that the kingdom of heaven is like a treasure hidden in a field, that a man finds his treasure, and then he hides it again, and with joy goes and sells all he has to buy the field. Some interesting things about that. People always ask, why didn't he just keep the treasure and all this kind of stuff? Well, he would have been a thief then, okay? So he didn't want to do that. Well, the kingdom of heaven is like a merchant seeking fine pearls, and he finds one pearl of great value, and he goes and sells everything he has and buys it. Then we see the kingdom of heaven is like a dragnet cast in the sea, and it gathers fish of every kind. This is interesting, because the kingdom of heaven gathers everything together. The good are kept, and the, th the bad are thrown away. And he says, so it's going to be like this at the end of the age, that the angels will come, and they will take the wicked out from among the righteous and will cast them into fire. The wicked will be cast into fire. Jesus then asked his disciples, do you understand this? And they went, uh, yeah. I'm sure they understood it to some level. You know, Jesus gives another little parable type of idea. He says it's going to be like the head of the household. He said every scribe who has become a disciple of the kingdom of heaven is like a head of a household who brings forth out of his treasure things new and old. Okay, So Jesus comes to his hometown after saying all these things, and the people are amazed. And they're saying, is this not the carpenter's son, and the one that has these marvelous teachings and does these great miracles? They had a choice to make. They could receive him as to who he was, the son of the Most High God, or they could do what they did. They took offense at him. They took offense at him. Okay, They were offended by what he did. And because of this, he could not do many miracles there because of their unbelief. Let that not happen to us. Hey, let that not happen to us in any way. May we continue to pursue the Lord with all of our heart, our mind, our soul, and our strength. Again, I'm Dale from the Precept Classes in Coleman, Alabama. I thank you for being with us with this course right here. So be certain that you press on into Matthew Part 2. I'll see you then. Goodbye.